10 electric semis charging at once can pull as much power as a Super Bowl. For fleet operators aiming to go electric, that kind of demand can have your utility provider either laughing you out of the room or telling you it'll take a decade to get you the power you need. But what if instead of relying on utilities, you could generate that power on site? That's the future Hylion envisions with its Carno Power Module, a fuel agnostic generator that's low maintenance, cost effective, and designed to meet the growing energy demands of transportation. But is this really a practical solution for fleets? Before we go any further, if you're enjoying clean trucking news and videos, you can get more delivered straight to your inbox. Sign up for our free weekly newsletter using the link in the description below. Energy demand, electricity demand is skyrocketing, it's increasing, whether you think of it from an EV standpoint or data centers. Like one of the things I shared was 10 semi trucks being plugged in is equivalent to the entire Super Bowl stadium's electricity consumption. You would have to times that by 100 or it'd be a thousand vehicles for to equal the amount of power a data center consumes. So the grid is going to be overtaxed, whether it's from EVs or data centers or industrial applications. And the model has been where you have this, the main power plant and it feeds electricity out to all the end destinations. We think it's a better move going forward to deploy modular power plant systems at that end location and then not be reliant on a main power plant. Hylion's vision for a decentralized power grid is not new. For years, companies and governments have been exploring what's known as the microgrid, a small local power network that can make and use its own electricity. The United States Department of Energy states that by 2035, microgrids are envisioned to be essential building blocks of the future electricity delivery system. We're now getting to a point where you actually can have a local power plant that's just as efficient and performs as well as a major power plant. The way I like to think about it is, just like facilities today have an air conditioning unit outside, we see the future as facilities or EV charging sites will also have a box that's sitting there producing electricity and you're gonna make your own power in the long run. So, how does the Carno actually work? And how does it fit into this decentralized power vision? At its core, it's a linear heat generator built on Stirling engine principles, a technology first developed in 1816 by inventor Robert Stirling. So you go back 200 years ago, you had steam engines, diesel engines, you also had heat engines or what were called Stirlings. And the whole concept there is you have a trapped gas, you heat that gas up, and when you do that, it expands. It, you know, gas gets hot, it expands, and you use that expansion to push a piston one way, and then you do the opposite reaction on the other side to push it back. And so that creates a linear back and forth motion. It's happening about 20 times a second. And then we have a linear motor in the middle that's sitting there producing electricity as the gensets running. This high pressure gas inside the Carno doesn't just drive a piston. It also enables a low maintenance design using gas bearings. There's no oils, there's no lubricants in this. So think of like your car engine, you need to do oil changes. That doesn't exist with this system. There's only one moving part per each one of these shafts. And even that moving part glides on gas bearings or air bearings. So think of like an air hockey table the puck doesn't touch the table. Well, that's the same thing that's happening inside this shaft. That actual centerpiece, the one moving part, is hovering, which allows us to get much, much longer intervals in between needing maintenance. The Carnot Sterling architecture also allows it to be what Hylion calls fuel agnostic. So since our fuel source is heat, we can get that heat from reacting natural gas, propane, diesel, hydrogen. So this system's actually designed to be able to operate on a, up to or over uh, potentially 20 fuels. And those include some of the ones I mentioned, even some rare ones like ammonia, dimethyl ether. And so the whole reason why it's able to run on that wide of a spectrum of fuels is because all we're doing is making heat. And then that heat is actually what produces the electricity. So as we think about like, what's the future of the energy landscape? I don't think any of us could predict, is it going to be hydrogen? Will it be natural gas? Will it be some fuel like ammonia, methanol, right? We don't know what the future is going to hold. So we see this as a way to almost future-proof yourself where you can adopt a solution today that can run on many of the fuels that are expected to be utilized down the road. This version of Hylion's Carno has a 200 kilowatt power output. Using a charger of equivalent power, 
This could charge a class five or six electric truck in about one and a half to two hours. But how does the power output and size of the Carnot compare to a typical diesel generator? So as you compare it to internal combustion engines, we're sitting at about half to maybe a third of the size for the same power output. We're also working on a variant that's a two megawatt variant, which think of the size of a 20 foot shipping container. We're able to pack in uh, two megawatts worth of power into that box. Anyone familiar with commercial diesel engines or generators knows they come with costly, maintenance-heavy after-treatment systems. However, the Carno avoids that challenge entirely. Due to the, the way the system works, you actually don't need an after-treatment system at all on this, and we're able to achieve NOx and CO levels that are greater than 95% lower than the emissions that come out of a standard reciprocating engine. But beyond emissions, the bigger question for fleet operators is this. Can generating your own electricity be cheaper than buying it from the grid? And what we've found is because it has that high efficiency, on many instances, almost all, we can actually produce electricity for cheaper out of this box than you can source electricity from the grid. So now as you think about your EV charging site, where you're often getting hit with peak spikes for charging rates, you no longer have that when you're sitting here making your own electricity. Additionally, Hylion recently announced that their Carno Power module qualifies for a 30% tax credit under the One Big Beautiful Bill Act. Hylion has laid out a compelling vision for the Carno generator, but who's actually using it and in what real world applications? So the Navy is actually helping fund the development of this. They've selected it as a power plant of choice for future autonomous Navy vessels. In terms of other customers, this year we're deploying with our early adopter fleets. We haven't announced who they are, but there's a couple of large Fortune 200 companies in that. So what do you think of Hylian's Carno generator? Would you use it to electrify your fleet? Let us know in the comments below. And for more videos like this, watch the playlist on the screen now.